Well, it's only been six hours since the governor appointed Mark Rechtenwald, but the Senate president is already predicting his confirmation will be approved. The 54-year-old was a former federal prosecutor with the office of the U.S. attorney. He served as director of the State Department of Commerce and Consumer Affairs and spent two years as chief justice of the Intermediate Court of Appeals. He has spent the last year as associate justice of the state Supreme Court. His extensive experience, in contrast to the governor's rejected nominee, Catherine Leonard, but experience is not the only reason his confirmation should go smoothly. KITV 4 is Daryl Huff, who covers both courts and the legislature, is here to explain why. Hi, Daryl. Hi, Laura. You know, that resume is important for the man who will have to manage the state's sprawling court system. But the other side of his background, his legal history and rulings, is the other reason Democrats who run the state Senate are comfortable with him. Like Rechtenwald, several of the judges the governor has appointed have been former prosecutors, like Stephen Alm, and they have a reputation for being tougher on defendants than judges appointed by Democrats. But the governor says that's never been her intention. I didn't uh, look at the list and determine who was or was not a prosecutor. In fact, Rechtenwald angered prosecutors and made prosecuting speeders harder for police when he wrote for the court's majority in a case called State versus Fitzwater, a ruling that demanded more documentation that police car speedometers were accurate. I've ruled uh, for the prosecution in cases and I've ruled for the defense in cases uh, on the Supreme Court and at the ICA. He's also shown even handedness on environmental cases, although he wasn't involved in the Super Ferry ruling. In another case involving Waters of Life Charter School on the Big Island, Rechtenwald wrote a majority opinion that gave regular citizens more power to sue to defend environmental regulations have an open mind, follow the law, uh, and be impartial and fair. I didn't talk with him about it in those kinds of terms. I talked generally about the rule of law. The Senate president predicts easy confirmation for Rechtenwald, partly because Democrats will see that he's not following the governor's legal agenda. I think that he probably will display a very uh, well-balanced situation in terms of how he leads the court in terms of the policies. And now another reason for Democrats to like Rechtenwald's appointment, it's simple math. If they'd approved Catherine Leonard, Lingle would have had a majority on the five-member court. Rechtenwald's confirmation will leave Lingle with two appointees on the court and a vacancy, which she may not be able to fill before leaving office in December. Laura.